Hello all and welcome to Sojati's uh, 2017 DevOps Hackathon. In our discussion today, we will see how to configure AWS code pipeline to call an existing GOES inspector test or test suite. I myself, I am Namrata Shah and I am the National Solutions Architect for DevOps over here with Sojati USA. I am a senior manager and I have been with the company for 9 plus years. I have a total experience of 15 plus years in the software industry and have been an MVP in CSharp.net as well as been a virtual technology specialist in Vista. My email and my LinkedIn profile details are as shown on the screen. So let's now go ahead and take a look uh, at how we can call um, a ghost inspector test or a test suite from our uh, code pipeline. So for this demo, I have an existing code pipeline that we will be using. And um, this code pipeline was one of the pipelines that I had created uh, in one of the previous demo sessions. And we will be modifying this pipeline to add a couple of additional actions to call a ghost inspector test suite. So let me uh, put this pipeline in an edit mode over here. And as you see over here, we have uh, quite a few existing stages and we do have uh, a test stage over here. Uh, and to this particular test stage, what we will be doing is we will be adding an additional uh, action uh, to call the ghost uh, inspector UI testing. Now, before we do the integration, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have in, at, in ghost inspector and what test suites are available. Now, as you see, this is uh, uh, my ghost inspector account over here. And I have created a, a test suite called as a demo, a DevOps demo test. And under this particular test suite, there's a single test called as page load. Now, let's go back and let's edit our uh, pipeline to add an additional action over here to call that particular test suite. So I'm going to add an additional action over here. So go to add action and the action category is going to be test in this case the action name is going to be ghost testing and the test provider in this case will be ghost inspector ui testing now as you see uh, aws gives us an option basically to connect to ghost inspector so let's click on the connect button and as you see over here, I was directly uh, brought to this particular AWS code pipeline integration page uh, provided by Ghost Inspector. Um, the reason behind it being is because my credentials are stored on this machine. I use this machine pretty frequently. But in case that's uh, not true for you, uh, in that case, you will have to provide your uh, username and pa password, uh, essentially your login credentials. Now, over here, you can see that we have uh, two options. First is the DevOps demo test, which is nothing else but the test suite, the entire test suite. And in this test suite, we have page load, which is one of the tests. So either you can call the entire test suite or you can call one specific test, whatever um, is true for your scenario. So for our demo over here today, we will be calling the entire test suite. So let's select that. So if you click over here, integrate entire test suite, it will go back, uh, take you back to your code pipeline, add a action pop-up. And as you see over here, now this connect button has changed to reconnect and the test ID of that test suite is now reflected over here. And then finally, you need to give your input artifact over here as my app build. And finally, to add this action, we will say add action. And there you go. Now you see that our action has been added over here to our pipeline. And we will scroll back up and click on save pipeline changes. And as you see that now you can actually see the ghost inspector testing uh, action added to this particular stage. And every time our pipeline will be executed, uh, that particular test will be called and will be executed as well. 
so hopefully this was helpful and uh, thank you very much and see you uh, some other time in some on some other demo thank you very much